When you're ready to start entering in timesheets to track the time worked for each job or to simply keep track of every employee's hours worked for your period, go to Employees from the main menu at the top and then select Timesheets Time Tracking. You can manually enter in the employee's hours for each day by selecting the hourly earning or earning type, assigning a department, assigning a customer job, assigning a work order for the customer job you have selected, entering in a start and stop time, or just entering in the hours. You can also assign notes and enter mileage information. Total Office Manager also gives you the ability to create timesheets directly from a work order on the schedule board. Simply right click on a completed work order or a work order that's ready for timesheet information and select Add Timesheet Entry. The earning type is automatically populated. The customer job information and work order are automatically populated. The start and stop time based off of the work order and the hours. Any overtime worked needs to be split out on the timesheet to the overtime earning item. Overtime may be calculated differently based off of the state that you are in. Overtime may be anything over 8 hours in a day or anything over 40 hours in a week. If you're unsure how to track your overtime, please contact your accountant for information on how your state tracks overtime. Once you've completed filling out your timesheet hours, click the option Advance One Day on Save to go to the next day, or just click Save. If you're entering in straight eight hours every single day, you can also use the option to copy information from prior day. To use this option, enter in the information as you would like for it to appear, click Save to proceed to the next day, and then click the button to copy information from prior day. Once you have all of your timesheet hours in for the week, Total Office Manager may alert you that you have more than 40 hours in the period, just to let you know that overtime will need to be split out if you are responsible for paying overtime for over 40 hours in the week. Save and close when you've completed filling out the timesheet, or click the Week Data tab to verify the time entered. You can also generate a report from the timesheet to verify the hours in the week. For more information on entering in timesheets, click F1 to read the help topic on timesheets.